So I was leaving the library holding this book and I saw someone I knew. They said, oh cool, Turkish. These two words look and feel very similar, but they can mean pretty different things. The word Turkic is more well-defined and precise in its definition. When we talk about Turkic peoples, we're talking about the different states, nations, and cultures that speak Turkic languages. The Turkic languages are a family of languages that span much of Europe and Asia, from the Karaims and the Gagos to the Uyghurs and the Siberian Tatars. This is called a family of languages because they all have a common ancestor which was spoken around here about 2,500 years ago. The word Turk is a little vaguer and has a much longer and more confusing history. Originally, Turk was used to refer to the Kuk-Turk Confederation, either by themselves or by others. Then for the next thousand years or so, it was pretty much a free-for-all, and Turk could basically mean anyone nomadic from these parts of Asia. Then, from the founding of the Ottoman Empire onward, the term Turk slowly narrows once again. Now, the current constitution of the Republic of Turkey states everyone bound to the Turkish state through the bond of citizenship is a Turk. In other words, Turkey calls all of its citizens Turks. But the word Turk isn't totally limited to referring to the citizens of Turkey. While slightly outdated, it's still possible to find articles in academic papers that call the people who speak Turkic languages Turks, and many dictionaries still write that definition. There's also the related word Turkmen, which obviously refers to the majority ethnic group in Turkmenistan, but historically, Turkmen or Turkoman referred to the Turkic tribes whose descendants would later build the nations of Turkey, Azerbaijan, and Turkmenistan. The confusing bit is that today, these people are also sometimes called Turks. So while we have the Turks of Turkey, we can also have the Azeri Turks of Azerbaijan, and while exceedingly rare, yes, the Turkmen Turks of Turkmenistan. Turkmen is also used by some Turkic groups in Iraq and Syria, and while these groups aren't typically referred to as Turks, their language is still called Iraqi Turkmen Turkish. An additional problem is that the Turkic languages don't actually differentiate between the words Turk and Turkic. They're both rendered as Türk. The founding of Turkey is part of the reason why historically Azeris or Azerbaijanis didn't always want to be called Türk. It implies a shared national identity, but one that's Turkey-dominated. Turkey has kind of hijacked the word. The name given to Turkey's founding father was Atatürk, literally father of the Turks. It's true that Azerbaijanis and Turks have a common ancestor but they also have traditions and cultures unique to themselves, and we can recognize these things without calling them both Turks. Saying a phrase like, Kazakhs are Turks, is not technically incorrect. But in saying so, you're ignoring the last 100 years, and the term today is inextricably tied to the country of Turkey. Using the word Turk may also have implications, such as pan-Turkism or a Turkey-centered Turkic world that are outside of the intended meaning. And while Turkey certainly has a plurality on the number of Turkic people, they are only one part of the kaleidoscope of cultures. For that reason, saying Kazakhs are a Turkic people is more accurate and precise. To recap, when should we use Turk, and when should we use Turkic? Use Turk when referring to people from Turkey, and Turkic to describe one of these groups or languages. This makes the word Turk less vague and require less explanation. And whether Turkic peoples want to self-identify as Türk should be a personal choice. In the end, I'm just glad they decided to name the country Türkiye and not Türkistan.